stop wasting hours passing API documentation, connect to any... Well, it's kind of creepy watching yourself as an AI avatar, but I've just created this AI clone and you need to see how to do this. It's super simple. And we're going to do it in an NAN right now. So you can call it via API. So there are services out there that mean if you don't ever want to appear on film, you don't actually need to anymore. You can actually just clone yourself. The picture was me, but I actually never said any of those words. So it's pretty amazing that you can create this. And what we're going to do today is run through how exactly you do that. And if you stick around, you'll hear some top tips on how to get the speech even better. So to give you an overview of the flow here, we are taking in an input of a script and then we are generating a video. So I'm going to show you today how you can create multiple templates in our platform of choice in order to make both long form and short form content in the tall format and the wide format. So this template is really versatile for that. So I'll jump straight to HeyGen in here. So once you log into HeyGen, your dashboard will look kind of like this and immediately you're drawn to create your own avatar and it creates a digital avatar that mirrors your appearance and voice from a video recording. Pretty amazing, right? So as you run through this, you get some instructions from HeyGen directly. And actually there are two styles we can create here. We can be still in front of the camera, like my sample, or actually you can move along with a background. So it's very versatile in what style you want to create. So we're gonna choose still for this. We're gonna click through the next stage, which basically gives us some tips on how to film correctly. So you obviously want as much footage as possible. If you're giving them 30 seconds of footage, the footage isn't gonna look very good. And actually, even in mine, I gave them about 30 seconds of footage and you notice when you're watching the whole video that it's, it doesn't seem very fluid. It's on some sort of loop if my speech is longer than 30 seconds. So actually, if you film five minutes of footage, that gives you a really versatile amount to work with. And it gives a good tip here about making your avatar lively by using like being really expressive. So exaggerating your emotions and your facial expressions, something that's just generally very good anyway for being on camera and something I'm working at myself on being on camera is to just be a bit more expressive. What you can do then is upload. So you can upload with a video that you've pre-recorded. So I might, for example, upload a previous YouTube intro or I can record it there and then with a webcam. So we're gonna go for a record with a webcam to show you what it looks like. So we're just connected to the, the camera, the microphone. We tell it we wanna do a, a landscape or portrait, and then we'll hit next there. So it gives you a few options now on what you wanna talk about. I would recommend trying to find a subject that you are interested in so that you sound really passionate or going freestyle and just saying words with a lot of emotion. I actually use their script and it made my recording a lot worse because my eyes were darting around the screen and I wasn't looking properly at what I was doing. We're then gonna come back at the end of the recording and tick a few boxes. So we're gonna tick just some quality things. You then go through an upload process. And what you see when you go back to the avatar screen, once that's all sorted, is you have an avatar here. We now have a video sample of us, but we don't have our voice, which is really important to get a really good sample and make it sound like us. So what we're gonna do now is understand how we get an authentic voice. So we're gonna to go to probably the best service for authentic voice replication out there at the moment, which is 11 Labs. So we'll go into 11 Labs and what we're gonna do is clone our own voice. So the very crux of this is we are cloning our own actions and expressions, and then we're cloning a really good sample of our voice and then piecing those together at the end. So we're gonna go in here and add a new voice. And for the basic plan, which is there is a free trial, we can do an instant voice clone where we'll clone two minutes of our audio. If you're looking to do this professionally and send out these videos to clients or post on YouTube, then I'd 100% recommend the professional voice clone. You put in more input data and it sounds incredibly realistic, but the instant voice clone does a lot to give you a good, a good sample of what you'll get with the professional voice clone. So we're going to come in here and put test. And then again, we can either record our own audio or upload previous samples of audio. If we're uploading samples, then we want to upload more than five minutes of audio because it gives the best chance at actually replicating our, the way we speak, our intonation, all of those different things. We then just add a description if we want to. There's no need to do this if you don't want. If you're just cloning your own voice, it's fine. Tick and then add voice at the bottom. So we're then going to go on personal. So voices, personal and you'll then see the one that you've cloned. So you can listen to a sample of your own voice back. 
So for both of those, we're going to need to grab voice IDs. I'm going to use this voice, go on the right hand side and click view. It's just out of screen there. And what we get again on the right hand side at the bottom is an ID and it allows you to click the ID and copy. So we're going to copy that. So we've got the voice ID from 11 labs. Now we're not going to call the 11 labs API as well as the HeyGen API. HeyGen sorts that for us. We just need to make sure that HeyGen has the voice integrated in HeyGen. So we go back to the HeyGen dashboard and on avatars and voices, you can see I've already got mine here. We're going to go and add favorite voices. We're going to integrate a third party voice. And what we're going to need to do is go and get our API key from 11 labs to, so that HeyGen can connect directly to our 11 labs account. So we're going to come to 11 labs and at the bottom here, I've got my profile. I'm going to click on that and we've got API keys in here. We're going to create an API key and it's going to give us an API key here, which we're going to copy to clipboard, take back to HeyGen and paste that in. So once we paste that in, we're going to confirm and that's going to connect us to 11 labs. And then you can see it's going to immediately come up with all the voices we have and we're going to import to HeyGen here and that's going to add our voice. So now we have the voice inside here and we have our avatar in the looks. We need to take those IDs and put them into the API request back in NAN. So we're going to take the cat the avatar ID from here. And we're gonna go back to the HTTP request. And for here, we've got a generate a short and generate a long. The only difference is the template ID inside. So we are posting data to the HeyGen API because we're sending the script. And we've got a header auth, which I'll show you where to get in a second, but it's just a HeyGen API key, basically. Down here, we've got all of our inputs. And what we are doing is essentially saying, this is the avatar I want to say this script with this voice. So we're gonna copy and paste that avatar ID in here, and it's probably gonna be the same. It's actually slightly different. We're then going to go and grab our voice ID. So we'll go back to HeyGen, and we'll go down here to AI voice on the left-hand side. And then what we're gonna do is hover over the one we want, and we're gonna go uh, get voice ID. And it's important that it's the HeyGen voice ID and not the 11 labs voice ID, they're different. And the 11 labs one won't work with our HeyGen API call. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna place that inside of our voice ID. And as you can see, it's already the same. And then the final thing we need is the input text, which is actually what our avatar is gonna say. And then after that, just the width and the height of the video we want to film. So this is telling it it's a long form, so it's wide and less tall. So we're gonna grab the input text and this looks more complicated than it is, but we basically trim off the characters from the script that we assign earlier. So if we go back to the script, all I've done is say, okay, we're gonna set, this one as a uh, type long form video. And then we've put in a script, a sample script here, just with a few spaces, etc. And then all that's gonna do is grab the script and send it to HeyGen. So an example of a previous run here, we've sent the script inside our inputs. As you can see, it appears like this. We've sent the voice ID, we've sent the avatar ID and its output a video ID. So whilst it's doing that, it's actually going to take a little bit of a time to generate. Um, since I've previously done this, I've actually updated it to Polla every minute. So it's usually between four and 15 minutes, depending on how long you want the video to be. But this took about four minutes to generate. If it's not completed, it will keep going around this loop and then try and get the video. And once it's appeared as successful, it will then take it to the next stage. So we're going to go in the get video HTTP request here. And you can see that we are literally just using the get method, we are grabbing from the slash video status dot get endpoint. And again, we're using the header auth, which I'll show you where to get in a minute. And we are passing in the video ID that we just grabbed in the previous node. You can see that once it's done, it will have a status of completed, and then it will give us the video URL, which is actually then how we download that video. So once the status is completed, this is set to true. And all we do is send a get request to the URL that it sent us previously. So we drag in the URL across here and put it into here. You can see that that's the same. And there's no need to authenticate this because it's just a video that's hosted online. So that gives us the video here. And what we can do is open that up here. Stop waiting hours passing API documentation. So again, a little bit creepy watching yourself speak, but you can see that without having said any of those words ever, we've actually got a pretty authentic looking video of me that looks similar, that sounds similar, and it's pretty convincing. We've done that all within about 10 minutes. The only difference with generating short versus generating a long, instead of using just dimensions here, 
we've actually created a template in HeyGen. So the reason I've done that is because I want my shorts to be half the screen. So I've actually set up a template where my shorts video fills half the screen only. And I've saved that as a template so that I can pre-populate a video in that bottom half and then put something in the top half as well. If you're going to use this N8N template, then this template ID is not gonna work for you, but you can either go to HeyGen and set up your own template and copy the template ID, and that's available in the top right corner of the, of the template, or you can copy and paste this node here, and we'll go into the HTTP request, and all we'll tell it is that the dimensions need to change and we'll just put in 540 by 960, which are the shorts dimension. And we'll put generate shorts without the template. And I'll leave this as a node in the template as well, in case you want to do this. And it follows exactly the same route, but you'd end up with a shorts template that was cropped to a different height. If you stuck with me until this point, I've got a really cool tip for making them speak authentically coming up. But before that, if you're finding the content valuable, please head down below and give the content a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. I've also got a community and all of these workflow templates are shared there. Join that if you think you benefit from a community building real world use cases like this. Other thing that I wanted to mention was this HeyGen helpers section. So along the way, if you can't find anything in HeyGen specifically, I've set up this HeyGen helpers section with a few template requests here in order for you to replicate certain steps or get certain IDs from HeyGen itself. Final two really important things. The first is getting the header auth for HeyGen. So we'll go back into HeyGen. And this one is quite hard to find if you're not looking carefully. So you need to go into your profile here, go to space settings, API, and then we're just gonna create an API key here. We're gonna copy that and we go back into our header auth. And this is a generic credential type. So the HeyGen API key is one I've created myself. So we're gonna go into generic credential type, click header auth, and then create a new credential. And that new credential then has the name X API key, and then the header key, we just copy and paste directly into here. And I've just called this HeyGen API key up here. So don't get confused that you don't have a HeyGen API key in your platform. This is just a header, standard header auth that I've named HeyGen API key for my purposes of making it easy. Okay, bonus tip. Well done if you stick around for this long. To make the script sound really authentic, there's some tips and tricks that I've got for you in how you write the script. And you can get AI to write the scripts for you. But if we go into the script, you'll see some of these tips and tricks. Just filled out a few rules here. So first of all, we put no punctuation in this first one and we're gonna to listen to how it sounds. Secondly, no caps. And finally, no dots before the next sentence. So all of these things are really gonna impact the way the voice sounds. So putting capital letters is gonna really emphasize those words. An exclamation mark is also going to do the same and add a pause as well for effect, much in the same way as if we were reading this as a human, we would read this with one tone, but read this with several different tones and different pauses in places. And then we've also added the dot, dot, dot because it actually enables it to take a longer pause for a dramatic effect. So let's run this now and I'll show you exactly the difference between these and you'll be amazed how different these actually sound. Go to my channel and subscribe. So first part you can hear is very unenthusiastic. We've got some awesome templates to help you smash it with AI agents. It's okay, but it's, it's going quick. It's not really understanding where to take a natural pause. Go to my channel and subscribe. We've got some awesome templates to help help you smash it with AI agents. You can hear it really emphasize things like smash it there. And if we put in a few more bits of punctuation and a longer paragraph, you'd hear the massive difference that, yeah, when you use 11 labs and put in punctuation like that in certain places where you want to emphasize words, it does really well. So that's everything. Thanks so much for watching. You can grab the template directly in the community link below. See you around.